Thank you, Sister Sarah and the Women's Choir, who worked very hard on preparing that, and it was beautiful. Wonderful job. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you for coming. Our hall is now filled. We are filled all the way to the back, and so I'm so happy. We're so excited. Um, thank you for coming. I know some of you had to miss work and get your children going, and I know the Lord is going to bless you for all of this today. Um, I would like to thank our Lord Jesus Christ that we are able to meet here today, and that is so a uh, great freedom that we can have to meet here today, and we do not take that for granted. Um, I would like to thank my husband, Pastor Lordson Rock, that he is allowing us to have this conference. Um, the Lord placed in his heart to have a women's conference again. He has a great vision for women, and, um, and not many pastors are like that, but we love the women of our church, and we have a great vision for them. And we want you to know that we love you. And we care about you. We care about your life. We care about your walk with the Lord. And so um, I'm so thankful to Pastor, my husband, who has a vision for women. And I'm so thankful for that. Those of you who do not know me, our visitors, I am Grace Rock, not Roach. I am Grace Rock. And um, many people get that confused, they call me Ro Grace Roach. Even when I was going through my paperwork for becoming a, a dual citizenship for India, they kept calling me Grace Roach. And I'm like, no, Grace Rock. They're like, no, Grace Roach. And they're like, forget it. It's okay, I'll be a roach. <laughs> okay, but anyways, my husband and I, we have three children. And when we got married, we he was brown and I was white. And we thought, Brown and white makes gold. So um, it only could be a good thing that makes gold. So we do have three golden little boys that are being refined. <laughs> We're refining them. And, uh, but they are my golden boys. And Stephen every day asks me, Mommy, why are you so white? And I said, Because I'm made of snow. <laughs> so I'm white as snow. So. But we are super, we, are, we love each other, and we love our family, and we love the ministry, and we love women. And um, we, my husband and I, when we decided to have this conference, we were talking about what the theme is. We went on Google and all these things, trying to find a theme. And um, Pastor came up with this thing, Far Above Rubies. What a great theme is that? That is a great theme. Um, two weeks back, my husband and I, we were looking at some statistics that have came out of the most dangerous place for women to live. Believe it or not, India was number one, the most dangerous place for women to live. United States was number 10. So that is, that should not be. And that tells us one thing, that there is a lot of hurting women in India. We cannot reach whole of India. But if we can be what we should be here in Goa, it's going to spread all over India. But we can do what we can do in our areas, in our family, and the Lord cares about women. I don't know, those of you who attend our church, Pastor often talks about how many religions downgrade women. They use women in a very ungodly, immoral, impure way. But the Christianity of the Bible, God always protects women. God always values women. God always adore, wants women to be adored. He sees them as something that is very, very important to the family, to the church, to the community. And I know you've heard Pastor talk about that many times how it is God who, the Bible always protected women. And women are very valuable. Our theme is far above rubies, far above it. And every woman here today, you have a price tag on you, a price tag. There is a price tag on you that says you can be far above rubies. See, 
our theme is Proverbs 31. And that verse states, what does it state? Proverbs 31, 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Far above it. Way beyond it. So today, just because you're a woman, you can be something of very great value. Okay? When we go shopping, us women know about shopping. We go, we look, and we see a dress that we like very much. What is the first thing we want to know? The price. The price. We look at it. Ooh, it's expensive. But I like it. What do we start to do? We start to fill the material. We start wrinkling in our hands. We say, is the dye good? Is the beads going to fall off? We start checking its quality. Does it match the price of it? The Lord Jesus Christ, he sees value in all women. He sees, he's put a price upon us. Are we reaching that value? Are we reaching the value that he has placed on us? I don't want you to ever think you're not important. Every woman is so important. Your hot calling is so high. You have a high calling in your life. You can make a difference in your family. You can make a difference in your church, your community, your job. Your value is extremely high. Never think for one minute you're not important. There's a price that is on you. The Lord Jesus, what did he do? He paid a price for us also. Let us not forget the price that he paid for us. What is the, what does the verse say? There's a verse in 1 Corinthians 6.20. It says, Ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which is God's. Jesus Christ, what did he do? He paid the price for us on the cross. He took our sin upon him. Why did he do that? Because he loves you. He loves you. He wants you. He, and when he took the price for you, he put, put a price upon you. He makes you valuable. So don't ever think that you are of no purpose in life. I know life is hard. And you may say, I don't feel very important. But you can reach far beyond rubies, the Bible says. In fact, there's another verse in 1 Peter 3, 4 that says, oh, uh, Let it be of the hidden man of the heart, which is not corruptible. And this is talking about women. Even the ornament of a weak, meek, and quiet spirit, which is inside of God. Uh, what? Great price. It's talking about women. If you are the woman that God wants you to be, you have so much value. I want you today to know that the Lord Jesus loves you. And he wants your life to be so valuable. More than the most precious jewel. More than the most precious stone. Way beyond it. He wants that for you. And you got a price on you. And what are we going to do about it? Jesus paid the price for you. What are you going to do about it today? And so, I, as we listen through, we have three wonderful ladies here who have come all the way from U.S. And they're white. They're made of snow also. <laughs> they're all from U.S. And, and I pray as you listen to what God has laid upon their hearts, that you may be able to become far above rubies. We want that for you. We want your life to be wonderful. We want you to enjoy every blessing of the Lord. And may your life be something that is so beautiful. And may your price match what God wants for you.